Let's talk today about patience. That's something that many people are in short supply of. If you find it difficult to be patient with others, if sometimes you're annoyed, sometimes you're upset by the idiosyncrasies of others, realize that we all should be more patient. And even though we try to be patient and try to hold back our criticism, we have achieved many times a surface patience only. That's where at the surface we appear to be patient, but underneath we're not patient at all. We may still have negative thoughts, negative feelings about the one that upsets us and tries our patience so much. But my friend, we cross a spiritual bridge. We take a large spiritual step when we go beyond merely trying to be patient with some other person and try also to love that person, to behold the Christ in that person. To be patient is an achievement, but to be loving as well as patient, well, they walk hand in hand, and they have quantum power. It's a higher way, because love will cancel out impatience over time. Love will give you an understanding heart, and also love will set us free. See, I'm going to talk about love for the next couple days here. The power of love is a great freedom for the soul. To have surface impatience only, well, that causes us to have an inner turmoil inside of us, sometimes that is to the boiling point. But we rise out of any tendency to be impatient by opening our mind and our heart to the love of Christ. Let us affirm today, I am loving. Together, I am loving. My heart is filled with the love of Christ. Together, my heart is filled with the love of Christ. I look at my world and the people in it with a loving spirit. Together, I look at my world and the people in it with a loving spirit. I pray, my friend, that you express the Christ love toward everyone in your life. In 1 Peter, it says this, Above all, Hold unfailing your love for one another. Well, I pray that you do today, for it is the answer to so many personal ills. And it frees us in a way that nothing else can. God bless you.